Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create an invoice to send to your customers with PayPal. With this invoice, you'll be able to show the goods and services, the amount, also give them the option to break up the amount for a partial payment right now and other things like that. So let's go ahead and check it out. But before we do that, I just want to go ahead and say, if you like this video, make sure you don't forget to like it and also subscribe to the channel because I make videos like this all the time. From the PayPal dashboard, I want to click on request. Then from request, I can go ahead and click on create an invoice. Now, if for some reason you don't see request on your dashboard, what you can do instead is go up to the top to send and request. And then from there, you can see that it says send an invoice, but you can also go to more and it says create an invoice there. If you go to create an invoice from more, you'll be able to see manage invoices. So you'll see all the invoices that have already been made here. And then you have the button to create an invoice. So the first thing I'm going to do is make an email address to send to. I'm just going to make one up. So jha at gmail.com. I don't know if this person actually exists, but I'm going to be using this person in this test. I have the option to check the box for ship order to and then I can add an address and I also can add additional recipients, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to pick an item name, which I'm just going to do boxes. And I'm going to have a quantity of two boxes at $3 each box. And then I'm going to go ahead and make up a tax. I'm going to go with Virginia and Virginia is somewhere around 2%, but at the same time, I'm not looking at it right now. So I could be wrong about that. It's somewhere around that. This is the test anyway. So it really don't matter. Anyway, my description is <laughs> just boxes. You don't have to have a description. It is optional, but I decided to go ahead and put that in there. With this invoice, I'm going to add a logo. So I'm going to go ahead and add my logo here. You can see that invoice says that it's invoice number 001. The invoice date is June 1st, 2020. And it also says that the payment is due on receipt. You can also see that I can add a discount and I can also add shipping, but I'm not going to do either one of those. Instead, all Jay High owes me is $6.12. His discount was the shipping being free. I can allow a partial payment and I can allow a tip. So I'm going to check both of those boxes. I'm going to make the minimum payment due right now, $3. And I'm going to send a message to the customer saying, I want my money. I want my money, Jay High. But after that, I'm going to go ahead and go to terms and conditions, so which I'm going to do. And I'll just put in a condition, which is I'll take half the money now and I'll take half later. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a reference number. The reference number is going to be 012, something simple. Now I'm going to go to more options. I can upload a file right here if I want to, but I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to head X out of that. I can also put a memo to myself, but I don't want to do that. So everything looks good right here. So going to the invoice preview, we can see exactly how it's going to look when Jha sees this invoice. And over to the left of the invoice is my name, my address, my phone number, and my email account. Now, instead of sending this to Jha at Gmail, I'm going to actually just send this to myself. And then I'm going to go ahead and click send. So going back to manage invoices, I can see that it's been sent. Looking at action, I can go ahead and put remind, edit, copy. I can delete it. And now that the invoice has been sent, I'm going to go over to my email address to check it out. And here we can see exactly how it looks when somebody is getting an invoice from you. It doesn't give them the exact invoice. It shows a summary of the invoice. Avery Harris sent you an invoice for $6.12. Minimum payment is $3 and they can click on the button to view and pay the invoice with the note saying, I want my money. I want my money. When they click on view and pay invoice is when they'll see the exact invoice that we made. And that's it. So now that I showed you everything about this invoice, I got a question for you, which is what do you think of this invoice? Is it something that you would use? Is there something that could be better about it? Let me know in the comment section below. I also want to take this time to say if you are interested in learning more about PayPal and how you can make money with PayPal, then you should check out my other videos on PayPal. Right now, I got a playlist and it's called Make Your Own PayPal Buttons. And it shows several PayPal buttons that you can make, put on your website, or you can use 
as links to email the people or put them on social media. So that interests you, check it out. With all that being said, hopefully you like the information. If it was useful to you, why don't you like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you get notified when new videos come out from me because I make new videos every week. Thanks for watching.